All right, you're lucky. This is a Mad Human Pizza video. Do not open with sharp object. It is a tire tube, and it's going to go on this lovely scooter. This is a Mad Human Pizza video. I haven't made a video in a very, 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 very long time. I like responding to stupid comments that people make on here, but, you know, I hope I can still say stupid. I don't know, the woke, we live in a woke generation, um, so I don't know if you can say stupid anymore, but I just did, so hopefully, but whatever, so we're going to air this up, and um, well, actually we're not going to air it up, we're going to put it on, we got to get it on the hub there, the tire, this is practically a lot of work to get off, so we're just going to, oh my goodness, we're going to have to figure out how to get this on there there's got to be a way to get this over there it's because i got the one to come off but i had to cut it off so this is going to probably take a lot more work than i thought it would take because i have to get this over oh i gotta take that apart dang it all right now i got a uh the tire tube is a the size is 12 and a half by two and one fourth so whatever so we're gonna have to take off the the chain and to get to the chain we gotta take off this this garbage which I don't know if I'll even put back on cuz I, mean, I can always put oil on a chain and maybe make a rap a rap video of it but um there's two chains some type of, uh, stuff always falls down here. Alright, so, there seems to be a lot of, um, screwy screws to take off here. Oh, that came off just lovely. This is actually the first time I'm... Look, I like how it does that. <laughs> like Pac-Man. Alright, now we need to get Mr. Chain off. Alright, so what you want to do is uh there's a tensioner back here you move it you move a tensioner up and then you'll be able to um you'll be able to get the, the chain off i don't know if i can do it with one hand or not but should be able to two chains but you want to get that chain to come off there we go the chain's off now Alright, so use an 8 millimeter on here. I don't know if I showed you, but a uh, 15... What is this? Fifth... Beep, 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 beep. A fifth... Yeah, 15. Take... Screw that one off. And screw that off. And now I get my hot dogs. Hot dogs. This is a hot dog break. In case you guys don't know, this is a hot dog break. This is how you drain it without a drainer. Alright, hot dogs don't fall. Then we'll turn cold water or warm, warm water. That's super hot. I go like that and burn myself. Alright. That was fun. Put that down because it stinks. It smells like poopy poo. Draw my hand off. I'll put that out there since I draw my hand off on that. And then enjoy my delicious hot dogs. Yeah, the emo kids would be like, Don't hate me. Don't hate me more than I hate myself. Of course, when you're ratcheting, you'll need another tool to grab the other end, the other bolt on this side, which is right. So I'll hold that. I'll hold that while I ratchet it. Okay, so I was ratcheting this side with that ratchet, the 8 millimeter, while I was holding this with a pair of pliers. The other side, it's, uh, it's just a little bolt. Alright, and then when you when you do that, it all falls down, 
and uh, now you can actually get the tube. You want to get that um, the stem. There's a hole somewhere in this tire where the the um, stem comes out, and we'll uh, we'll find that here in a minute. So we're gonna see now we have this. We still need some work to do. We still got to get that off. So we'll probably have to take that off and remember where the tensioning is at. So we'll we'll do that because we got to get this circle inside there. All right, 10, 10 millimeter on this. Um, then you got to remember how far this was down. So it's about about like that. A little over. It'll be probably r rusted on there, or there'll be some indicator of where it used to be. So what we're going to do is loosen that up until, see how that spring spring decompressed. And then, oh, it's going to be a little, there we go, it fell off. And the whole thing fell off, and i got to figure out how to put it back on. So right now, I'm just going to stuff the inner tube into the tire, which is a lot of fun, to be honest. The inner tube stinks, i got to tell you that. It smells really bad, the material. It's probably toxic, toxic to animals and humans and well, mammals, toxic to mammals and plant life, and probably an oil product. It's just toxic to everything. We'll get that all in there, and we're going to air it up. And then we're going to put the beast back on. We're going to put it all back together. We're going to figure out how tension this is, and then, you know, figure out. I know the pieces fit. That's a song. I know the pieces fit. So we're just going to get this in there, and and here I have a um pump. I can pump it up. Pump it up. We'll get that in there. Oh, see how it's sticking out like that? Perfect. It's already it's already doing what I, I want it to do. I'm not sure what this blue line is. I'm sure this blue line is significant. But I guess we'll find out. Um, pump it up now. Pump it up. Alright, it didn't take much much pumping. Not much at all. Because it's pretty full. Um We'll put this piece back together. All right, installation is reversal of removal. I got that back on. I believe it goes like that. Uh, it's kind of a guessing because this metal part, it just fell apart when I took it apart. And there's a little bend in the, um, the, the strands of metal. So I knew exactly where to put it back to where how much tension is on the spring. It goes back to right there. So... Now it's all a matter of putting the hub, the hub, or whatever you want to call it, back on. But first, before we do that, we got to put Mr. Tire on. There's a hole right there. That's where the stem comes through. And I see that we made a boo-boo already. I don't think we're supposed to pump it up yet, so I'm going to have to deflate it. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so it's got to be deflated. I'm going to deflate it all the way to be able to now, because... I can't get it over the, um, the hub. All right, now I should be able to get it over the hub. All right, so we're just going to push this in. This is the fun part right here. Very fun. Okay, now... I pump it up. It's gotta be. This is what happened last time. I bent to get this on there. You have to bend it over. When it bent it, it just bark broke it off. Okay, tire is inflated, and the valve stem is right there. So now we just gotta put it um, back on here. Or oh, this way. We gotta get that chain on there, so I'm gonna throw that chain on and we're gonna put it back together. Alright, so 
you got your tool set and the sockets and the socket wrenches, socket wrench, um, a wrench, a pair of pliers. There's the um, the pumper upper, air pump, the old tube, and then a screw gun because there's a couple screws I had to get to get the uh, this plastic out to get that plastic off the side. So before I put that tire on, you have to put the chain on. I mean, you have to get, you have to get the chain over that before you put this part up in there, right up in here. I put this on just to hold it still. So I got the chain. The chain's ready to. It's it's coming down under here and it's over, so it's ready to come go on fully. And also, don't forget to put this part back on before you put this back on there. So that goes on, and that's screwed down right here. Yeah, I gotta screw this, screw that on. I still gotta do that. This actually, well, um, it go, it goes right here. It screws on to right there. This comes up to right there. So we'll do that. That's, that's that's what we do now. All right, here is this removed. I think it was like uh, it was like that. Anyway, I got to get this chain back on. I gotta get this chain this chain back on, and then. I think I figured it out. So the chain goes on that cog right here. It goes underneath the tensioner. Then up and around here. And back. And as I turn, it runs smoothly. You can go like that, that way. And then, so I believe that's how it works. So now, the next thing to do is to get this part, this, oh, this lovely part, see how stupid this thing is, I'm going to get that there, and then screw, put a screw in there and tighten it. Okay, so I basically put this, uh, oh, what size, 8 millimeter, whatever. Put that on there, and then I held the other bolt on this side. I held it as I tightened it, and I got on there. So now we're, I could put that chain protection on there, but you know what? I don't think I want to, to be honest. Now, what we gotta do is look at it, get our fingers out of the way, look at it, and then, you know, turn it on, sit down on it, so she said, and then go. Here we go. <laughs> we ran out of room, there's a stove. Everything's in the way. Here we go. Uh, sayonara, mother effers. <clears throat> Good God. Okay. Alright. I think it works now. Let me check. It's hard to do this holding with one hand. Looks good to me. It moves. There it is. Me. Hold on. Uh, all right. That's how you replace the the tube in the rear tire of a pocket mod electric scooter. Thumbs up. Have a great and wonderful day.